When it comes to making a decision on a coding bootcamp, there is a lot of factors to consider, obviously. These factors include tuition cost, reputation of the program, and how long the program is going to take for you to finish. You don't have a ton of flexibility on the first two options there, but you do have a lot of say when it comes to the timing, scheduling, and flexibility of your program. Most boot camps offer part-time and full-time courses, and in this video, I'm going to quickly talk about the pros and cons of each. I'm going into this video with the assumption that the course you're considering offers the same curriculum for the part-time program as it does for the full-time program. Not all programs are like this, so you need to do your due diligence to make sure that that's the case, because this can be a deciding factor for you in general when it comes to what coding bootcamp you decide to go to. In fact, for me, it's the reason that I ended up going to General Assembly instead of Flatiron. All of that said, let's take a look at the pros and cons of going part-time versus full-time. Starting with the full-time option, pros. The biggest upside of taking the full-time route is the accelerated structure of the course. Most boot camps take between three to six months on a full-time basis, and in this time you can basically move from zero experience to being employable as an entry-level developer. This is a big advantage for anyone looking to break into the field as quickly as possible and move out of their current position. This would also be the best way to go if you had an employer that was sponsoring your education and probably the one that they would have you go to. That way you can get through the training as quickly as possible in a really intense fashion and then get right into using your new skills at your current job. You can also create really strong relationships in the full-time cohorts. You can certainly do this in the part-time programs as well, but there is something to going through something extremely intense like a full-time development bootcamp together with a bunch of other people. So this can create really long-term strong bonds with the people that you end up going through. So if networking is important to you, this might be a minor factor to consider. Just getting through the full-time bootcamp is a sign that you're persistent and hardworking, as most full-time bootcamps are a minimum of 40 hours and some are 50 or 60 hours a week. Onto the cons, because of the intensity and short nature of the program, there's a high chance that you might miss some important details. So if you choose to go the full-time route, you may miss some of the information that you should get through the bootcamp. So that's something to kind of look out for, which speaks to something that I just spoke about, which is the grueling schedule of the full-time program. You can expect to sometimes be working up to 60 hours a week studying, and that is no joke. There's very little margin for error or major stumbling blocks when it comes to your learning process, and you typically can't buy extra time in the program if you end up falling behind. Ultimately, because of the speed and scheduling of the full-time program, you may find you're sacrificing some quality in exchange for the speed of learning. That's really what you're paying for is the high speed of learning. On to the part-time programs. In my opinion, the biggest upside of going to a part-time program is being able to take advantage of the pace of learning itself. Having a slower learning pace will allow you to take time out of the class to refine your projects as you're progressing through the course. Also, if you have access to career services through the bootcamp that you're going to, this will give you a ton of room to get an early jump on utilizing those career services and getting those counseling sessions with your advisor. This can be the difference between you getting those first 50 applications out to potential startups and businesses that you want to work for and stumbling through getting your resume and LinkedIn built up when it comes time to start applying for jobs. This is a big one. So make sure when you're talking to a representative from your boot camp, you are confirming that you have full access to your career advisor from day one rather than only having access to them after a certain time of going through the curriculum. So if you're able to work on a part-time basis and go to your coding bootcamp at the same time, that's a big plus for a lot of people because you're able to maintain your current or a little bit less than your current income and you're able to keep the bills paid while you're going to school. Also, if getting that first position takes longer than you realized or anticipated, you have a steady, semi-reliable way of making your current income while you are applying for jobs. Just like being able to have a career advisor right off the bat, you also have more time to work on projects on the part-time schedule because you're going to have some free time. If you have time where you're not in your coding bootcamp actively learning and you happen not to have work, you have more time to work on your projects and resume and personal portfolio while you're going through the bootcamp process. So you're able to get a jump sooner on the job searching front. When it comes to the part-time route, the biggest upside is also the biggest downside. While it's great to be able to take more time to learn and refine your skills, you're typically doubling the time it's going to take to get through the bootcamp. So a full-time bootcamp took three to six months. The 
part-time boot camp is going to take six to 12 months. My boot camp I'm going through part-time is going to be a six month program. This is time taken away applying full-time for jobs. So ultimately I might take a little longer to land that first position than if you had just gone through the grueling schedule of a full-time program. That said, if you continue working during the part-time program, you traded this potential outcome for the more certain financial outcome of being able to have that job that you currently have and maintain some income while you're going through it. So for a lot of people, including myself, this is going to be a trade-off that is worth it uh, in exchange for the security and in exchange for the ability to make a higher quality resume and portfolio in that time. Another con that I haven't heard too much about, but just kind of crossed my mind is some boot camps might take their part-time students less seriously or give them less priority. I haven't personally heard too much about this, but this is something to kind of covertly inquire and probe about when you're talking to your career advisor to make sure that you're getting everything you could out of the boot camp if you were taking it full time, but it's just maybe on a little bit of a longer schedule. Ultimately, I decided that the part time route was the best way for me to go. General Assembly's part time course is six months, like I mentioned, and that's a great pace in my opinion. It kind of balances between getting into the industry relatively soon and also being able to take time to build projects and learn as much as possible. In that time, I'm going to be able to utilize the career services and learn as much as possible while maintaining a reasonable schedule and time frame of learning. As the primary breadwinner of my family, this makes me feel really good about my decision because I'm going to be able to continue making that income and learning at the same time. It's absolutely worth the extra time to learn for me. And as long as I take my time off to study more, it won't truly be lost time. Ultimately, my goal with this program is to be attending a part-time program, but studying close to full time in order to maximize the time frame that I have in coding bootcamp. All of these benefits added up make taking the part-time program a more reasonable option for me. If you're choosing between the two options, the biggest thing to consider is your lifestyle. If you're younger with less bills or if you have a large nest egg built up from the previous years of work that you've done, the full-time option might be the route for you. It's gonna be faster, you're gonna get into the market quicker, and in exchange for the increased intensity of the program, you're gonna have your time, essentially, of getting through the coding bootcamp experience. On the other hand, if you want some flexibility in your schedule, you have to work while going to coding bootcamp, or you want to use the spare time to double, triple, quadruple down on your learning, project building, and resume building, the part-time option is probably the one for you. With all that said, if this provided value to you, please hit like and subscribe to this channel. There's more videos coming soon, so I will see you then.